Hey, I'm Chris F from Make Everything. Welcome back. We are here at my property in upstate New York. If you've watched my other videos on this place, you know that all I wanted to do since I bought it was knock it down and start fresh. Well, you can see that excavator in the background is here to do one thing and one thing only, and it is to get rid of this house. I'm super excited. Let's get started. So if this is your first time here, a little bit of background. I bought this property in upstate New York about two years ago. It sits on six and a half acres in the Catskill Mountains, right by my friend Jimmy Duresta's house. This house was actually built in 1990 by a couple of kind of home gamers. It wasn't professionally built by like say a home building company. Now they got almost all the way done with the house before they seemingly abandoned it. They put down a foundation that was never really properly done. And over the years of, I guess, frost heaving and rain, the foundation has since collapsed. They also never put siding on the house, which basically allowed the house to rot from the outside in. The roof's got some leaks, the floor is falling in. And overall, for the last 30 years, the earth has just been reclaiming it. That being said, there's really no way for me to save it and feel safe about living inside of it, especially with the mold and different animals that have lived in there. And also, we're going to try to build something a little further up the property with better views of the mountains that are behind me. So in the two years that I've owned it, I've done a couple other projects here on the property. I've put in a driveway, I've done some clearing, I built a shed for a skid steer that I purchased, and now it's finally time to knock down this house. Now it's actually a pretty big building. It's about 2,500 square feet inside and it's filled with stuff. There's like two full pallets of drywall in there. It was actually fully wired before it was abandoned. Um, and there is gonna be a good amount of work in getting rid of it. Unfortunately, it's not on a slab because then I could just basically level the thing. There is about a three to four foot uh, sort of crawl space underneath it. So we're gonna have to be careful of that. I've hired a local excavator who's a friend of Jimmy's. He did the driveway for me, really great guy. And I'm excited to have him and his crew here tearing down the house and carting it away. My goal at this property is to build a couple of other structures, maybe a shop building and some houses up the hill. Ideally, I'd love to do something really creative like a tree house or an A-frame, something where I can really just like kind of live out a child's dream of building something cool that you can stay in overnight. So Kurt's got his excavator here. He's gonna get started first thing tomorrow morning. Today I was just over here kind of checking out the land and grabbing any last items out of the house because once he turns that thing on, this thing is going down. So let's get into that and uh, good riddance to this thing. I'm not gonna miss it. <laughs> So after the first day the excavator had gotten pretty much most of the building down, they were only able to get so many containers up and swapped. So they had to come back the following day and unfortunately I had to leave. So Jimmy came up and took a look at the site and walked around. At that point they had moved out seven full 30 yard containers, which was a ton of debris. And all they had to do was bring in some fill and push it over the hole. 
So there's still a little bit of work for the excavator to do up here, but because they got rain and then it got really, really cold, all that fill that he put in the ground is frozen. And he's worried that if he put shale over it now, it's probably gonna settle and there's gonna be soft spots and low spots. He used 14 loads of fill to fill that hole, which was shocking to me because I never expected it to take that much considering the crawl space wasn't that deep. But um, they did a really good job. The site looks super clean. And once the snow is melted, I'm really excited to kind of see what the earth looks like. I'm hoping to be able to get up and do some work up here um, before we get a lot of snow. But if I don't, I'll just have to wait until the spring and then I'll really be able to get some work done. All right, so the excavator pulled this water line out from that tank, if you remember from the last video, and said the best thing to do would be to leave it underground, but put it in a conduit. Um, and then stub it up out of the ground. So I went with his recommendation. I have to get the well serviced. I really don't know what's going on with this thing, but we won't be able to do that till the spring. If you recall one of my past videos, we took the cap off and dropped a, uh, a string and a rock down there and it wasn't very deep. So we'll see how far down it goes. Um, aside from finding the water service, the excavators also threw a snake in that waistline that I found in the basement. So here's that green pipe that was down in the basement from the last video. And they stuck a snake down there and they felt what they thought was a baffle. Um, they didn't bother digging it up just because they had a lot of other work to do. And that's something that I'll do when the ground thaws out. But we're thinking that there's some sort of a septic system over out in here, which would be really great because I want to tie into it. The idea is now that I have this pad to be able to put a camper up here and then build some, you know, I could build a really nice size garage here. I mean, my Sprinter is a pretty big vehicle and it is just dwarfed on the scale of this property now that that house is gone. I mean, look at this. So these are the two sheds that you've seen before. This one holds the skid steer and this one has all the windows in it. And our plan for the spring is right up over there, basically right on top of this hill. I want to build a A-frame cabin, something that I've talked about before up here. And I think it's just going to be such a great location. And then my goal is to then build some sort of a staircase up the hill that'll get you up to the A-frame so that you can drive over here, park, walk up the stairs and get to the cabin. And the cabin will have beautiful views of the mountain and a beautiful view of the sunset, which I'm just starting to get right now. You can really tell what used to be here when you see it from this angle. So from up on top of the skid steer shed, which I probably shouldn't be standing on considering it's all ice, uh, that's where I'd wanna put the A-frame. And then something that Mac and I have looked at too was this is actually like a really nice kind of deck. So I think I'm gonna build a level platform up here and then maybe a little staircase off to the side so that you could sit up here on, you know, like an Adirondack chair and just look out over the mountains. So I'm standing up where I would want to build the A-frame. And this would likely be kind of the pad, if you can imagine that. And then your view out towards the mountains and where the house used to be. Super excited about this. And this is just from the ground level. We're going to go up and make it basically two stories so you have an even better view. All right, that about does it for this video. You can see the smile on my face. I'm so excited that this is done. I've been waiting for this moment for two and a half years since I bought this property. Um, it took the excavators only basically a day and a half to knock the house down. Uh, like you saw in the video, I was only able to really be here for the first day. I had to get back to work. Jimmy came and got some footage of the property. And overall, it was just such a great experience. The guys, Kurt and his son Hunter, did an unbelievable job. And I'm gonna leave their information down below. If you're in the Greenville, Catskill area, and you need any excavation work done, they do it all. They're the, probably the fairest contractors that I've ever dealt with and the most honest and transparent. Really, really great guys. And they just did exactly what I would have done if this was you know, me running the machine. Uh, they did a really tidy, super clean job. The site looks awesome. And they went out of their way to do things that like really went the extra mile, like suggesting putting that water line in conduit and finding the what we think is the cap or a baffle for the septic. You know, These are things I didn't even necessarily ask them to do. They just went out of their way and did them because they wanted to do the right job. And as someone that's been in the trades for as long as I have, which is more than 15 years at this point, 
it's really hard to find people that go the extra mile. Most people want to do as little as possible. So I really appreciate Curtin Hunter getting out here and getting this done and doing it so quickly. Um, I can't wait to take the next steps here. I have some plans to get a camper and build a bunch of stuff with that. And then Mac and I are hopefully going to be starting on a really cool off-grid A-frame cabin a little bit up the hill uh, in the spring. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for following along with the progress of this property. I know it's been a long, uh, a long time coming to watch this house get knocked down and God, did it feel good to watch that chimney go down. Let's watch that clip one more time. <laughs> I mean, come on, that's, monstrosity of a chimney watching it crash just oh made me so happy so thank you all for watching thank you so much for supporting me here on my channel i really appreciate it i am really excited to do the next things here and i hope that you are there to watch those videos so please give this video a thumbs up leave some comments down below if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see what i do at this property next thanks again for watching follow me right here on instagram if you want to see what i'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis and i will see you on the next video